road trips or flying? Let's settle this. Are road trips really the best option or should you hop on a flight and be done with it? Do you hit the road and take in the scenery or are you booking a flight to get there faster? Today we're breaking down the pros and cons of road trips versus flying. We've driven the miles, we've been stuck in traffic and we've had our fair share of airport drama which we'll get into. So trust us, we know what we're talking about. Stick around to the end because we've got a travel hack that you're going to want to keep in your back pocket for your next trip. Imagine this, you're cruising down the coast, windows down, tunes on, and suddenly you spot this little cafe with the best pastries you've ever seen. You take a well-deserved break from the road and enjoy your pastry. See where I'm going with this? You're the one in charge. No early morning traffic making you miss your flight, no rushing through security, just you. The open road and endless possibilities. With a flight, you're locked into a strict schedule. I mean, your car is not going to take off without you. Picture this. You've been on the road for hours, your legs are aching, you're starving, and Google Maps just added another hour because of roadworks. Road trips can get super long and annoying, especially when you get stuck in traffic. When it comes to flights, while they might feel long, they're far more straightforward. You skip all the traffic and get straight to your destination. Here's a big win for road trips, no airports. In the beginning of the video, we promised some airport drama, and if you're anything like us, you're dying to know what happened. It all happened in the year 2010, when my mom was set to take a flight to London. The year just before that, she traveled there to visit a friend and no visa was required for South Africans to enter the UK. So she thought this time would be no different. Turns out she was wrong. After waiting in line for what seemed like hours, they told her she was not allowed to get on a flight because she didn't have a visa. She turned around with tears in her eyes and headed home. Totally heartbroken that she wouldn't be going to London after all. Honestly, airports are a nightmare in our opinion. With road trips, you avoid documentation issues, those massive check-in lines, the endless airport security checks, no waiting around for hours or worrying about your liquids getting confiscated. You can start your trip the minute you leave the driveway. Do you have your own airport horror story? Let us know in the comments. There is honestly nothing worse than driving in the middle of nowhere. You desperately need to go to the restroom and the next pit stop is miles away. The good thing about a flight is that you can pretty much go to a restroom whenever you want. Another massive perk of road trips, you can pack whatever you want. None of those strict airline baggage rules where you're stressing over weight limits or paying a fortune for extra bags. Forget cramming everything into a tiny carry-on. On a road trip, you want to bring your bike, a cooler full of snacks and that extra pair of shoes? Throw it all in the boot. Although flights can be pricey and can add up with all the extra fees, they are all expected and you can choose whether you're willing to pay for them or not. When it comes to road trips, there can be a lot of unexpected expenses you need to budget for, like tolls, car trouble, parking, fuel. They can really add up and chip away at your budget. The most important pro for road trips is that you see a whole lot more. You don't really see much when you're on a plane. So for us, the beauty about taking a road trip is that you see all the beautiful scenery around you. And last but not least, when it comes to road trips, although you see all these beautiful places along the way, you don't really have time to enjoy the destination. When it comes to a flight, you do. Because once your flight is over, you've got the rest of your trip to enjoy the destination. As you can see, the pros and cons of road trips versus flying are fairly balanced. We wanted you to see that certain advantages or drawbacks may carry more weight depending on the type of trip you're planning, as well as your time, budget and resources. Soon we will be going on our annual trip to Paris together for a couple of days and we are definitely taking a flight. After all, despite our love for road trips and all the pros that you've seen that they have, this is a quick city trip, so it's a no-brainer. You have to evaluate all the aspects of the trip and then decide if a road trip or a flight is going to be best for you. Now for the road trip hack we promised. Trust us, you're going to want to take notes. If you're going on a long road trip through Europe, we definitely recommend getting a toll pass. They save you time, eliminate the hassle of manual payments and are essential on major highways in countries like Switzerland and Austria. Also, we recommend you use an app like Toll Guru, which allows you to estimate toll fees in advance so you can plan your budget better. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you found this video helpful, check out our latest video, Top 9 European Road Trip Tips. See you there.